Hey, M5M. Guys, today we're going to be doing a blindfolded Q&A. So basically we put every single question you guys have asked into the bowl and we haven't filtered them at all. So we're going to be wearing these blindfolds, taking out a question and answering anything that you guys have asked. Guys, there's hundreds of questions. We're not going to get through all of them. All right, you guys requested this one, so make sure you leave a like and don't forget to join the fam. What are they doing, babe? Smash that subscribe button and guys, don't forget to follow us on TikTok and Instagram. All right, you guys ready? No, I'm going to have first. Okay. I'm scared because I have no idea what all those right, questions are. They're all are. upside down, so just go in and have a good dig. Yeah, let's right. do it. Oh, okay. Are you planning on having another child? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, do you guys want another sibling, Chris? I think we want a pet axolotl if that counts. I mean, you address us as a family of six, so. We do, we've got Sushi and Remy guys, so they're part of the fam, so we are family of six at the moment. Would you want a sibling though, brother so, or sister? Speaking of him. <laughs> um, would you want a brother or a sister though, friends? A baby brother no. or sister? No. No? No, you're happy with our family of six? <laughs> Charlotte has actually asked us for a long time for a little sister, but it's not happening. Oh. So the answer is no. Sorry. <laughs> All right, press is up next, guys. Let's see what he gets. Do you ever hold meet and greets? Okay. Ooh, we haven't yet, but we often see you guys at the shops and everything like that. So everywhere uh -huh. we go, we're stopped by you guys, and you guys have a, we have a chat with you guys, and we say hi, and yeah, we get photos and everything. So it's kind of like a meet and greet. <laughs> yeah, we will definitely do a meet and greet. You know when the time comes yeah but in saying that guys if you do see us come and say hi because we're not gonna buy it we're, we always say hello we always take a photo with you guys so we're probably just as shy as you are yeah <laughs> a lot of people say we're quieter like when they meet us out in person which is really interesting so we are quite quiet i think charlie and i are a bit quieter and beck and prez are a bit of the life of the party <laughs> but we're like life of the party in our own way right Char? i'm not quiet we're more quiet than these two me. it's cool i'm great all right beck's up next guys let's see oh What's Charlie's favourite type of dance? Oh, oh my gosh, this is so hard. I'm doing tap, which is actually one of my favourites. I'm doing jazz, I'm doing ballet, I'm doing cheer, and I'm doing this, it's like a troupe mix, which is a mix of lyrical and jazz. So, yeah, I like jazz and tap. That's not one type, that's two types. <laughs> Shush. Guys, <laughs> let us know if you guys do dance. Let us know in the comments below what, what kind of dance you guys do. Alright, I'm gonna go. Oh, She's I'm not right looking, right I just don't want to ruin my makeup. Ooh, it's another Charlie question. <laughs> Sorry, Briss. <laughs> but it said, is Charlie pregnant? <laughs> no, it doesn't say, is Charlie pregnant? It says, who was pregnant with Charlie? So a lot of people think I was, but I wasn't. Because you've got dark hair like yeah. Charlie. Mum does have dark hair. Yeah. Not now. Um, Alright, so Beck was pregnant with Charlie. So. And we don't even have any photos. This is, this is weird, it's going to sound like Charlotte was adopted, but we don't have any photos of me pregnant because I was sick in the hospital. And so I just didn't, don't have a single photo of me pregnant with Charlotte. Sorry, Charlotte. Oh, baby. Really? <laughs> Alright, let's do it, Charlotte. No one look. Who edits your videos? All of us. We actually all edit, guys. So we all have a part in the editing process and yeah, we all do it together, which is really cool. Um, Beck does the final edits. Yeah, it's pretty cool though. But we all do the editing, we all know how to edit. We use Final Cut Pro, a lot of people ask that question as well. But yeah, I think it's a really cool skill that the kids have learned and that they know how to, how to use. And Do you guys actually like editing though? Mm-hmm. Chris. Not for long periods of time. There's two types of editing. There's cutting out all of like your ums and ahs and stuttering so that it's like fast. And then there's like the fun editing, which is adding in all the like little effects. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the <laughs> boring cutting. Oh, see, cutting I'd rather through. do the boring part. I do like the, just cutting out, just like the very first cull where you're cutting out like someone having a drink. That's what I do. And then I also put text in. Well, that I put text in for my video. I like editing. Next question. Who's turn? It's my turn. It's my turn. Oh, it's Bradley's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I can find a question for me this time. I want a different one. Aha. Are you going to do a collab with the Norris now? We would definitely do a collab with the Norris Nuts. It would be a crazy fun collab with how many? Six, seven, eight Aussie kids. Yeah, there's a lot of kids on there, so guys. It's a lot of Aussie. We yeah. actually have a lot of similarities to them as well. You guys will even notice in our videos, there's a lot of similar things that like our kids are similar in similar ways to their kids and we're similar in similar ways to the parents and stuff as well. Cause, because mostly because of our lifestyle, like we're Australians. So the Australian lifestyle is actually quite a similar a similar thing. So yeah. yeah. So a lot of the times like we'll eat the same foods or we'll have the same brands. Yeah, we totally do a collab, guys. They're another Australian creator and they're awesome. So we definitely would do that. Yes, yeah, so we're, we're open to collaborate with anyone, guys. We like collaborating with other people. We love collaborating. Alright, next question. Oh me. Next question. Remember when you loved Miranda Sings? Sure. <laughs> question. Are you looking? No, I feel like you're looking. Why is your head up then? I get asked this question all the time. Yeah. Are you getting any more pets? No. Yes! No. No. We can't go anywhere because we have two pets. You, like, you can't put them in shelters or anything. What do you call it? Like what kennels. Kennels. Well, well Remy shelter. has a babysitter, but where he, <laughs> don't, where he goes to Sarah's house, she's already got a cat, and Sushi is really like a homebody. She won't go and be with other cats. But would we get any other pets? That's the question. Yes. No. No. Maybe. 
The axolotl? Yeah, the axolotl. <laughs> Does it live in a fish tank? Yeah. Yeah. Underwater. It can walk. yeah. Alright, next question guys. I'm gonna close my eyes really tight. Oh, this is a hard one. Who's your favourite child? How is that hot? Well, <laughs> okay. I you don't have a favourite, guys. Come on, you can't ask us that question. Who's your favourite child? Some days, one child is behaving better than like the other, so it might be like they're actually pretty good. They're they're pretty good. Te well, she's not a teenager yet, but Perez is a pretty good teenager, and Charlie's a pretty good pre -teen, pre teen actually. All right, Charlie's turn, guys. Let's go. Hey, no, sorry. Not what are the three things you cannot live without? Okay, coffee. I think we answered this in our last week the tennis court. This like I don't think this is including food and water. It's just like other things that you need. Family. Aww. Friends. Aww. Cute. And Remy. What about Remy sushi? and sushi? Remy and sushi. <laughs> They're family though. Remy and sushi. Oh. They okay. fall under family. My my three would probably be an internet connection, my computer, and family. Aww. Mine's coffee, sunshine, and the ocean. Family, Chinese food. And the beach. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm changing mine. Family, friends, and boba. Alright, next up, who is it? You? Me? No. Who is it? Me! Presley. Presley. Oh, sorry, Presley. Okay, thank you. Uh, if you could travel anywhere for free and you get one week, where would you go? Good question. Oh, good question. France? Yeah. France? Yeah. Probably New York. Oh, it's so hard. Italy. Yeah, same. That's what I was gonna say. I really, really, really want to take the kids to Venice because it's like a place I've never seen before. It was really cool. Beck and I went years ago. I just loved it and I thought about the whole time. I was like, oh, the kids would love it here. They'd love to see it. Cut Wait, down. guys, did it say place or country? Place. I turned it into If you could travel country. anywhere. Um, Disney World. Oh, Disneyland? Yeah. All right, Italy, go. France, New York, and Disneyland. I'm happy with that. It's going to be pretty crazy. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All for free. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this is real, guys? What have you done? Yeah. Digging into the bottom of the barrel. I feel like this is going to be a part two. So, guys, if you have any questions, comment them down below because I think we're going to have to do a part two. <laughs> I feel like this question was made for me. Do you miss your beach house? Yes. I miss the beach house so much. I do. I think we say it in I want every a vlog. Pool. Um, this house has been really great, and I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hint, guys. I miss the beach house, but I, I don't. Do. I don't think we'd go back there. Like, it's a lot quieter out here. And it is beautiful, but I miss the beach house. Me too. You guys? Yeah. Yeah. I do. Well, you know, nothing's forever, guys. You don't have to stay somewhere if you don't like it. We've, and we know, you guys know that we move around a lot. If we're not feeling the vibe anymore, we're like, oh, let's go mix it up, let's go try something new. Everybody jumps on board and we go and we just go have a good time wherever we are. As long as we're all together, we're always going to have a good time. Now. All right, my turn. Is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. I know Presley has come out with merch, but will Charlie ever? Ooh, yeah. that's a good question. We're starting to design some stuff, so if you guys have any ideas, then comment down below. We've been talking to people that are doing Presley's merch, so it's in the works. We really need some attention. Look at you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys probably have some pretty good questions, actually. I'm surprised at some of them. They are really good. Is Charlie allowed to wear makeup? I do wear a little bit of makeup, not like to school, because we're not allowed and not why we do that. But, and also not a full face, because I'm like 11 and it would be really weird. I just put like concealer on to cover up like red spots or something and eyebrow gel and yeah basically Not today it. though Do you have eyebrow gel on today? No, I couldn't find it For dance they have to wear a little bit of makeup and then occasionally you put a little bit on for a YouTube video Yeah And that's where I'm going like something So she is allowed guys, she's allowed to wear a little bit If she came out in a full face though, I'd be like Go back to the bathroom, take it off it Has to be <laughs> natural Yeah, it's gotta look natural and she's using it for like being on set or being on film and stuff like that. So she's either on set with like DreamWorks or she's um, doing it for dancing, which they have to do it, and doing it for YouTube. So it's nice. Yeah. Obviously, when you're going on the TV, it's nice to have your skin looking nice. So. And when you're an actor or you're in the arts, you often have to learn how to do makeup because you have to do your own makeup. Once you put lights on, you need a little bit of makeup. It's called stage makeup as well. So, yep. Both Presley and Charlie are. Oh, Both Presley and Charlie are actors, so it just kind of comes part and parcel with the job. But can they wear it just when they're going to school? No. Ooh, I'm going to go with this one. What's all of your opinions on pineapple on pizza? Yes. Yeah. Uh, can I have another one? Can oh, I have another one. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> it was a simultaneous yes immediately. 100% yes. I feel like we just lost 100,000 subscribers. I know, right? Sorry. Guys, let us know in the comments. Any more moving or travel plans? I'm pretty sure you guys know that there's both moving and travel plans. Same like movies. Yes. What year is Prez and Charlie this year? Um, I'm in year six. I'm in year ten. And I'm turning twelve. I'm turning sixteen. <laughs> what? Um, year six is the last year of primary school here. So there's only primary school and high school. We don't have middle school. So Charlotte next year goes into high school. But if I was in America, I would be in middle school. Oh yeah? It would be my first year of middle school. Are your families accepting of you being in a same-sex relationship? Yes, they are. 
If they're not, they haven't told us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they're not, they yeah. wouldn't be like, no. They still call us, they still hang out with us, so yeah. We're actually yeah. really fortunate, guys, because we know a lot of people don't accept. Well, actually, I don't know about a lot, but we know that some people don't accept it, so um, we're really fortunate that our families do, and yeah. Alright, next one. It's another one about me! <laughs> Let's go, we're just retitled Charlie's Q&A. <laughs> when will Charlie go to high school, and what grade is she in, and if she's already in high school? Okay, I, I, I kind of already answered that question, but I'm going to high school next year and I actually am so happy because my school goes like all the way from like pre-K to um, year 12, so I don't have to like change schools or anything. Pre-K is kindy guys, yeah, pre kindy Like three, four, year, three, three year olds. Yeah, yeah. Three so it goes from three year olds to 18 year olds and she doesn't have to change campus. All right, next one. The dog's going crazy with his toy. And Prez goes to a different school. Charlotte's is all girls, so Prez can't go there, but Prez's school does the same thing. Will you keep carrying on YouTube in the future? Yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. gonna quit at the end of the Yeah, this is our last video. She's joking, my Thanks life. for watching. Yeah, of course we are, guys. In some way, some form, we'll always be doing YouTube, I think. Yeah, all of us. We've already had that chat as a family, and I think, like, Presley loves doing YouTube, Charlie loves doing YouTube, and we love doing YouTube as a family. So they like it doing their own channels, and we like doing the family channels. So, yeah, definitely we'll keep doing it. What is your favourite subjects at school? Um, Mine was sport. Mine was sport, too. I like English and math. Pres? I like math. Where's puppy? Go get puppy. Okay. What were your jobs before YouTube? I've had so many jobs. Yeah, but I think they've seen like the most recent job. <laughs> um, I told the kids my jobs and they're like, no, you didn't. Before we started YouTube, I was working in a business right. with Beck, which was her business, and I was nursing. I was a photo editor. I had a business photo editing, so we had some staff and, and a shop and things like that. So yeah, it was cool. And it was I cool. was a tiny little child. <laughs> kids obviously Same. didn't work. I was a school kid. All right, next question, guys. You dropped like two. I did drop two. Okay, let's do all three. Charlie, all right. what do you? What's Prez and Charlie's most embarrassing stories? Oh, Ooh, no, I can't even think to be honest. Come on, oh, we'll let Prez go first then. Let's go first. All right, well, <laughs> I guess this is embarrassing. So when I was in grade three, there was a staircase at my school. I decided I would be really cool and jump the stairs like usual, but my shoelaces were untied. So I jumped down the stairs. <laughs> do you remember no, this? I jumped down the stairs, trip, and my head goes straight into the brick wall. You guys should have seen the size of the cut though. It was He's huge. Got a I've got like a bald his spot hair, like, like there. Isn't that it's embarrassing? Big. I would say that's embarrassing. Hmm. Oh, well he was new to the school too. So oh yeah, it was, it was like, yeah, I was new to the school that year. I don't oh. have, I can't think of anything. Charlotte gets embarrassed easily and Prince doesn't. Probably her most embarrassing stories involve <laughs> me speaking loudly. <laughs> Just and me existing. Alright, let's move on to the next question. I've got two questions that go. fell out of the bowl. Can we quickly go yep, speed run them? Yep, do it. Oh, I like this one. What's your favourite type of cake? Chocolate. My chocolate. Yeah, same. Chocolate. Red. No. Ooh. Yours used to be red velvet. And yeah. yours was chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Chocolate. Chocolate. Mine's hazelnut. And then the other one that fell out, are you thinking of getting any more pets? Nope. <laughs> no. So you guys, there will be repetitive questions because we literally didn't think to them at all. Alright, my turn. I'm going to go with this one. What Lunar New Year are you all born in? Hey Siri. What Lunar New Year is 1985? Ox. Ox. Okay, rabbit, no, ox, ox, pig, pig, pig. Pig as well. What is your favorite vlog that you've ever filmed? Oh Mine's God. a travel vlog, always. Like, I really enjoyed when we went down to Esperance and vlogged. We did Vlogmas down in Esperance, guys, so if you haven't seen our Vlogmas series, go check it out. We had heaps of fun. Mine was the DreamWorks vlogs. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah, course. they were really yeah. cool. <laughs> I like the last of Leaves. I don't know, because we always get up to crazy stuff, and it goes into the night, and it goes, like, Mine... to midnight and stuff, so it's good fun. Mine, before we did the last to leave the bouncy house with you, the second one, Mine, my favourite was the first one, and I thought it would update to the second one, but it <laughs> definitely didn't. <laughs> If you guys know what happened to Charlie in the second one, she we had we ended up in the hospital. So if you haven't seen that one, go check it out. Those um, last leave challenges are good because you never know when they're going to go. Like yeah. you never know how long they're going to go for. You never know what's going to happen. And it, you never it, know what bones going to break. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just an adventure. Any chance Presley's plush you will come back in stock? Yes, it has. It's actually on pre-order now. It did come back, guys. It is on pre-order, so it sold out really fast. And so did the hoodie and the shirts and stuff. Guys, go check it out. Guys, go check it out. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. And Prez. Well, all of us have actually been working on some new styles for Presley's merch. We've got some new ideas, guys. It's so all coming together. Oh my gosh, you just hit yourself in the head with that. All right, guys, so that's the end of our Q&A. Let us know if you want to see a part two and drop some more questions down below, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to follow us on TikTok and Instagram. Don't forget to make someone smile, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.